Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragon Fly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Uh, since our last episode, I've done a bit more work. I've been um, running cablings and things in, so I can start setting up the runway. That's not right, by the way. Um, and you change all that over there. And also, I've taken up our current landing pad, and I've moved the center point. Um, to this way because it's going to become nine by nine instead of five by five so what I need to do is start laying down one two three four yeah it's nine by nine laying down some of the other pieces so now I know where the center is I can start laying down um that's what I want some of the tiles so four that way that way four that way and four that way so that gives us how big our landing pad is uh, it's quite a size um, let's put some angled ones in on two three four and then we can just go with some plain ones to fill in the gaps um i probably don't have enough landing pads on me to do all of this i am gonna have to probably print some more but we'll get to it get done obviously i'll have enough to do a five by five because that's what it was originally but yeah i'm not having enough to do much more than that. Okay, that's an angle in. What about this one? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to be short. Quite a bit short. So how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 16, so that's 22, that's another 16, that's 38, wow, yeah, I need a lot, let's just weld these bits up, and this is fucking cool, down any more traders. at least it doesn't take long, it used to weld quite quickly and things like that. That's quarter of it done. <laughs> or just over a quarter. Right, let's um let's finish these ones off and then we'll uh, go start printing some more bits. Oh my battery's flat. Oh no, I'm out of steel sheets. Um yeah, twenty two what do you say? 22 plus 16, 38 plus 3 more, uh, 2 more, uh, yeah, I need about 40 steel sheets as well. Whoa, I didn't want to go down there. I'll go down there. Oh, the storm coming. Where are you? Are you mad? No, you're not too far away. Oh, you. Why are you a zero watts? He's stuck. So that's 18 minus 24. Minus 24. Eight, oh, there you are. How are you stuck there, you stupid thing? No, no, come back, come back. Thank you. 
Stay put. Loads of ores, but he's there. Yeah, I don't know what's going wrong there. Anyway, um, God, that's a mistake. Oh no, lying pan basic. That's not a mistake. That's what I wanted. I need steel sheets. Lots of steel sheets. Um, this one's just a blank. Let's quickly run these ones in. One, two, three. Slow going. So that was 20, so I need another 18 landing pads. It's closed, that's all closed off. Why am I struggling to walk? What's open? You're closed. You're closed. It must be coming in. It's making it difficult to walk in here, which means there's dust and things getting in from somewhere. And the only place I can think is to the lift. That's better. Keep going. You're all closed. All closed up. Yes, I know there's a storm queen. What are you short of? Steel, so we need to get make some steel. Yeah, the wind turbine's going quite well. Turn you off, turn you on, fire you up. Be very quick to make some steel. Temperature's well up. There we go. And there's our steel. What else did we need? Ah, you're open. Copper, okay, so we've got plenty of copper in there. That's 50 steel sheets, I don't think I need any, don't think I need any more than that, for the time being. Oh, 75, yeah. It is quite a few. Our rocket, um, is still going. I haven't checked on that in ages. Oh no. Have I um, left my rocket too long to run out of power? I hope not. That could be disastrous. I keep forgetting about it. I send out to scan and things and then I forget about it. Oh no! 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 Zero power! That means there's nothing I can do. I can't... Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> He's way out here. He scanned all this. What is this, by the way? Lead, nickel. Lead, nickel. Silver. So silver, nickel and lead. No. Oh, I knew I'd do this. 
Yeah. Well, I've lost my rocket. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't bring him back. I've got no communication with him. So my what I do, even if I set the location to Mars. I can't turn anything on because it's got no power. Why am I going to make solar panels for these rockets? That's what I want to know. Because this is so annoying. Bye bye Mr. Rocket. Boom. Gone. That's the end of that rocket. Okay. Well, let's um, carry on with our landing pads, should we? Nothing to do about the rocket now. I'm going to have to rebuild it. So how many have we got here? Eight. It's nine. Ten. I'm going to need... How would I say? 38. Now that should be enough. Oh, one, one too many. Oh, I'm really frustrated. I'm really pissed off at myself now. That's oh, over, yeah. So what I've done as well, um, I'll do that in a minute. I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's finish doing this. Oh, the storm's gone. Is this good? Oh, I've got it there. It's over this side, isn't it? Two, three, four. it is. Right, just weld this up quickly. I probably should have got a new battery for my welder when I was down there. Never mind. Let's we'll see how far we can get before we run out of power. Gonna get it all done. Still on orange on the battery. Oh yeah, we've got it done. I think I was gonna then. Okay. So here's a three by three. Um Move on tenor a bit. That's a five by five. Frosty barrels. <laughs> it's actually moving. Oh yes, it is. Very slowly though. I've just cranked up seven kilowatts. I don't think I can pull seven kilowatts on this network. So I don't know how that works. These cables can't cope with seven kilowatts. So, trader cannot land at the target landing pad is incorrectly configured. Hmm. Why so? What am I missing? What about you? Can you land? Pandas incorrectly configured. Okay, I found one of the problems. Um, I have got a bit of a runway set up over here. I had that connected to the same computer system. I think that's what was throwing it. So now if I look at this one, it's not set up okay. 
Uh, it needs 27 watts for 25 seconds. I can now interrogate that one, where before I couldn't. Um, what's this one say? Yeah, see, so now I've got rid of that uh, error. This one just needs more power. What's he? Stellar Smelter. So he's going to come in with... Some ores, I'm assuming. So yeah, just be aware, you can only have one landing pad connected to one computer network. Now, I don't know if that's the same for the antenna or not. Okay, yeah, so we can buy some stuff off him. Invar, Electrum, Constantan, Solder. Yeah, you know what? That's, uh, that's not too bad. Not too expensive. Hydration critical. Oh, I need food and water. I'm gonna take care of that. So that was a lesson learned there. Don't have two landing pads connected to the same system. And also need to change my batteries. So how are you doing? C O T eight you can be swapped out. Uh, you must be due swapping out. You uh, 93, yeah, I'll swap it out. Oh, notepad. Yeah, I definitely need swapping out. Tablet, sorry, not notepad. Um, laptop 98, still can need it, I'll just. Um, you need swapping. Drills 46. Let's go and get some food. We'll swap that one out in a moment. So I'm out of a... Uh, bread, if you hadn't noticed. Um, I'm not down to using my cans for the time being. I will create some more bread. I know I don't get as much bonus from water from uh, the cans. I think it's only a 25% bonus rather than 75%. Yeah, it is 25%. Um, How is our cocoa and things doing? Thriving towards fruiting, thriving towards fruiting, sugarcane, seeding, get that. So. On my previous video, I was trying to set up the cocoa, and it said the water temperature was too cold. So, um, underneath here, and uh, this here, so this is all connected 36 litres of water, all feeds through to my shower, to my uh, grow pods, and everything else. Um, I need to heat all that water up, and I've currently got it heated to 300 Kelvin, which is what, 27 degrees centigrade. And that works. And to be honest, I put this big radiator here. I don't really need it anymore. It was just to aid with the um, the heating of the water, so I could use the atmosphere in here to help heat the water. But I don't need this anymore. Uh, wrench, just to get rid of it. There we go. And I'll be some pipe work underneath the flooring. Can probably get rid of. Yeah. Let's just clear some of this out as well. Because the heater alone was taking literally forever to heat up the water. Um, so I put a heater on here. I'm sure we showed show this last time. Heater to heat the water. Yeah, I did. I did because I remember I had to mess around with all this. So yeah, so the heater is now set to come on at 300 Kelvin. Or below 300 Kelvin. So currently, because we're at 300 Kelvin, it's fine. Um, the heater is off, it's not burning any power. 
as soon as the uh, water temperature drops below 300 Kelvin, the heater will come back on again and start heating the water. Now, obviously, I need to add water to the system, so I've got the ice crusher, which doesn't need to be on, by the way, and you don't need to be on either. Um, is that going to switch? Yes, it does. So, it's still here connected to this. This is only using, I think, about one watt of power, if I remember correctly. How much power is that using? Power one, yeah. Heater is off, so it's not using anything. So, I'm literally using one watt of power just to monitor all this. Um, and I think the chip is only about one watt as well. Was that 10 watts? No, one watt. Yeah. So to monitor that whole circuit, it's cost me two watts of power. You know what? I can live with that. And I just make sure that my water's at the right temperature. I've got tomatoes grown here. Are they ready to seed? Yeah. So let's just harvest some of those. And these will um, start fruiting again. You can cook tomatoes in the oven. Similar way to you cook everything else, so tomatoes. Set that going, that will spit out the tomatoes. Um, seeds. No, I've got no room left in there, do I, for seeds? Um, take you out. I'll put you in there. I also want to keep a set of seeds just in case. Same with this. Let's just keep these seeds. Um, you can come out. Oh, I've got anywhere to put this stuff there. And what was the other one? The cans. There. Rice, I missed that earlier. Oh, you know what? It's just. It's nearly destroyed. I don't want to hold on to it. And you can use the tomatoes to make soup. I don't think you can make anything else in here with tomatoes or not. Condensed milk, I don't think you can. Egg, flour, milk, oil, tomato, soya, rice, pumpkin, mushroom. Yeah, but the only thing you can make with the tomato is tomato soup in the yeah, packing machine, some packing machine for now. Right, anyway, I did that, I've done that, that's growing. Let's harvest you. And then just use you to replant. So I'm gaining seeds overall. So it's going to take a while to get the cocoa plants growing. How are they faring? Where's my little tablet? Here it is. Growing efficiency 92, breathing 99, temperature 100. Um, yeah, that's all okay. Illumination stress nine, that's good. No, happy with that. Right, what was I doing? I was going to swap another battery out. Um, my light, how are we doing on that? That's twelve percent. And you're. There and you are 100% so you're good. Okay, let's go back outside. I know I didn't get a shower, but I don't need it at the moment. Um, storm's passed, so open the door, set you going. 
Seems got a load of all. 100, 200, 300 all. It's not bad. Right. So I did start laying down my runway. There's my threshold, by the way, in my runway controller off the side. I need to move us around again. Um, I need to move this over here because I need to be able to get the switch. Um, and this I've just put on a taxiway, but it's wrong. It needs to be down as actual runway. So I need to do that. I still need to move my wind turbines um, to make full use of that. We've now got this out to maximum size of 9x9. Nine nine. And uh, I don't really need anything from you at the minute, so you can go. see what get up next. Nothing. No, nothing. Okay. Let's rotate the dish by about, I don't know, 880, 170, something like that. That's 3x3. Three God, that is incredibly slow. So I am going to have to build another computer over here as well. And another satellite dish. Ah, uh, so. In here is my Stirling engine. So previously I was going to build a... Crap, I just vented all the gas. Shite. Oh no, I've still got 71 kilopascals in here. Okay. So I've now got my Stirling engine in here. Connected through back pressure. So that's feeding out into the roof. But it's a minimum back pressure of 2.5 kilo uh, megapascals. You can hear it going every now and then. It's producing, wow, 29 watts. I'm not actually feeding any gas in that at the moment, so it's producing 29 watts from nothing. That is heating up the gas in here. So what it does is it sucks cold air in this side to work with the hot gas coming through the system. But in this process, it heats the gas up in here. So currently the gas pressure in here is 47 degrees, sorry. Temperature is 47 degrees of any more nitrogen on me. Yeah, let's just drop that in here. That will quickly melt and push the pressure back up again. This has been charged about four or five magapack scars with nitrice as well. Um, just ask as a heat conveyor, so suck the heat out of here and I've got radiators on the roof where it can radiate the, way, the heat away into the environment. It's not perfect by any means. 132 kPa, that's okay. Let's close that door. And vent the gas back in. Now I can open this door. And now let's go and um, open our valve to allow the hot gases through to our Stirling engine. You see what it does. So currently, uh, I've only got what's in here. Okay, let's let's close that. Not see it open. I'll just start venting it slowly. So that's 10 liters a minute venting of gas from our furnace. And that's pretty, and you can see the power puts going up. Uh, 300, 400. So that's making use of the hot gas out of... I've done it again. Can you believe that? I've actually just done it again. Um, okay, now actually, that'll do. So yeah, 700 now, if you look at the top generating, how much it's generating. The temperature in this room, uh, currently 37, 38, so it's slowly going up. That'll be feeding through our ventilation system. 900, oh, getting there, getting there. And what you want, you see there's a temperature cold side, 317, temperature hot side, 453, environmental operating efficiency, 99, pressure differential, 49, so that has an impact, and working gas efficiency, 15%. You don't really get the working gas efficiency much above that, and that is using volatiles. What are we up to? 1.13. Close that. Vent this. 
So in fact, if we get energy from what would be wasted heat. Yeah, 1.14. We come up here. Ignore that link there. That was just what was linking my um, active vent to the system to pressurize it. Uh, bring you down. Turn him on. You see the gas inside here is going up. Temperature's going up. 47, 48. Um, it's not a huge pressure temperature differential. So on that side we've got 51. On this side it's 51. But you can see the numbers going up and it's, it's getting rid of heat as quick as it's coming in, really. Well, it's going up very slowly anyway. And that's because I've got radiators all over it, all over that. These radiators here, these big radiators. And radiators there to try and get rid of some of that heat. And that just helps cool the, the cold side. I'm not sure if there's a better way of cooling that using liquid. Probably there is. Um, I'll have to play around with see if I can do that. Right, Whoa, need to run off the edge. Are you still chundering away? No, you stop moving now. Planetary pebbles. No, I don't want planetary pebbles. I want something useful. I can't go any more that way. Fully 90 degrees, so let's bring it back. 10 degrees. And now it's just a case of playing around that you get a, a signal. But I just didn't realise this dish was so slow. That's it locked. Anything new? No. Take a while three, that'll take a while to do. So runway, this runway, I know I need to reconfigure it. So what let's um why aren't you coming up? Cause the wrench I need not the uh, Leave him there. Let's take all these up. Right. And then... Now then we'll grind up. Build over there? No. I can't build over that cabling. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that cabling as well. So, God, no space in my backpack again. Okay, um, stick him in there, keep him safe. How are we doing? You're dropping down now, must be running out of gas in the furnace. Ah, right, we've got something else here a 5x5 five five building. What does he need? 183 watts for 79 seconds. Crank that up, see what that does. Okay, so that did it. 
yeah, no, it isn't working. <laughs> I need a bigger transformer, and I need to upgrade this cabling to be able to use more than uh, 2,000 watts. Okay, so I'm stuck with 2,000 watts for the moment. All right, okay, what I was going to do, um, I want to move this, I want to move the cabling, so I need to pick you up. You take a cabling up along there. Well, not, not, let me put it there. No, I can't. Oh, okay, next plan. Oh, my cabling goes up over there, doesn't it? Do, do, do. There is a way. But I've already said I need a more powerful cabling. So how much have you cabling got? 14. Let's just run the 14 in here. this one now if I have that cabling there can I put a yes that works there yeah that, that'll work okay just want to make sure I can get that cabling down there so that works so you can come up here and across and about cabling. Right. Let's put this panel back in. Now I've run that in, so I'm gonna run that cable, heavy duty cable up and over here. Um I should probably colour code these cabling, <laughs> you know that this is a feed into my power system for my Sterling engine. And these log chips, by the way, are just reading um, the status of the Sterling engine power output and displaying it, uh, displaying it on the panel. So it's just logic reader reading the um, power generation and writing it as a setting to the LED display. Right, so now I've got to replace you as well. So let's just rip you out for now. To there. So dish is finished moving. Yeah, this isn't gonna have enough power to do this. That's forty five watts, that's even worse, so Take zero degrees, so see what happens. Yeah, so all this is going to, have to be replaced. And that goes along that door there, and it goes down. Oh, where does it go down? Excuse me. 
It was down to here, so all this cabling up here will need to be replaced. And I need to make that a medium transformer. So that's our um, bigger, or second transformer, close to upgrade this one. So we'll just remove this one from the wall, it's easier for us to do it now, get out your backpack. So um, I think we need a screwdriver. Helps if I use the right hand, there we go. So it needs to go that way. How many do I need? Oh, I need three, don't I? Not two. Um, I need another one. I don't think I've got enough material in here to do it. Iron. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, we're going to put some more fuel through our. Um, let's close that for now. Gonna put some more material through our Sterling engine. This gives a bit more power. Got too much crap in my backpack. Hold on. Probably have to dump some of this somewhere. Uh, don't need you. I'll stick you there for now. Don't need you. I probably will need you. I will need you. And I could need you, okay. So give me a few spaces anyway. Oh, sounds like someone's come back. Yep, I can hear it all clicking through. Let's create that quickly. What's that one? What is that? Trigger. Okay. Um, and I need some heavy cables. Lots of heavy cables. Oh, well, not that many. I'm going to run out of copper. Okay, one thing. First things first, let's get this transformer in place. There we go. Turn you on. I can now set you to. God, what could we do with this? Set 10 kilowatts. That'll be more than enough to drive our um, dish. It's seven kilowatts. How are you doing? Nine. Need more copper. Got a bit of the board of copper. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you can now. Oh, I need to stop you draining now, don't I? Okay, turn you back on. I need temperature and pressure. Two fifty. Three hundred. Okay, get the rest of these in. go again yeah it's plenty of time right um, so that's sorting that out why is Amy stopped is she she's obviously finished doing what she was doing so
Oh, this looks quite good here, doesn't it? Just here. What's this? Ah, flat battery's what this is. Minus 49, minus 33. Minus 49, minus 33. Confirm. Export. And off you go. Right, how much cabling have we got? 30. Okay, swap that out since I've just found it's flat. Let's just take that for the moment. We'll keep us going while more bits are being produced. Oh yeah, I need to replace that cable coming up tonight. Damn. We do that. Let me go back down again. So I need to replace this. Which means I need to deconstruct you. Place you with as far as I can reach. Just quickly weld this up before I forget. Right, let's seal that. that wired in I'm probably gonna run out of heavy duty cables shortly again Pity you can't do like zoop on this like you can in um, Satisfactory. I just go, go start, end point, end point, and it just lays them all down for you. That'd be much more useful than this one at a time. Get some more cabling. I was contemplating putting another transformer up there. You know, let's do that. Let's um, let's 
stick another transformer in there just to make life a bit easier. That way I don't need to replace all these cables, I can just stick a transformer in to isolate at this point here. There we go, and I'm thinking of doing the same over this side. So I do need to tap the power off this way. Um, transformer there and I can isolate all of this hydration critical Yep, so I can isolate all of that from the other network and it means I've got another satellite dish up here. Okay, how are we doing? 27 watts, 25 watts, sorry. I'm just going to try a small dish. Okay, let that run while I go get something to eat and drink. There's our small dish, uh, computer. What's oh, so my computer was then? Okay. Uh, motherboard, I want the comms, uh, communications to motherboard, oh, what am I missing, Electrum, anymore, right, Actually, you know what? Probably make more sense to put it somewhere like here, wouldn't it? We're in, we're out, yeah. This is done the way then. I've got some transformer down here. What oh, I did turn on. So you're kicking out ten megawatts. And you are connected through there, through there, through there, down, through there, through there, there. Why aren't you coming on? I'm going to have to move this, I'm just doing this to see if 
I've we'll got what's going on. Why isn't any of this turning on? Oh, that's on. So must be getting power. Okay. Uh, satellite dish. What do you need? Welding torch, steel sheets. Iron sheets, not steel sheets. Bugger. This lift's getting well used. I have some iron sheets in storage. Iron sheets. Something over, did I? Fool, that's it. Uh, one cable coil. That's it, it's a small dish. I may have to change this for a bigger dish later. Well, I will do without a doubt, but. Um, for now, this will do just to see if I can get this working. I need to move this further back. Why can't I build there? Why can't I build there? Don't like a deer. problem. Okay, um, I thought I had to build... It's the wrong one. I need three of these. I thought I'd... What are you? Landing pad atmospherics. Don't need you. Computer. I do need some more bits. Oh, I know what I did with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, runway. I believe that's what I need to do. It's got to be 15 long, maximum of 50 or minimum of 15 long. I think 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would take us to here. But it just needs normal ones now instead of the runway ones. That's all okay, that's okay, that's all right there, that's right there, it's into there. I don't know if I need to connect that one or not.
You know, for my own sanity, I'm going to move it. Move this. And put it here. Then I can get the computer here. Been to ten K of air already. Uh, you're connected, you're connected, you're on. Landing centered, okay. Okay. So that is all isolated from that. So the only thing I have to be picking up is this and that. And there's also not enough power there, so. Need a load of um, landing pads again. But why are you coming in as a nebulous as a three by three? No active landing pads available. Okay, um, I need to have a play around with this one, work out why it, I've not used a land uh, the wrong way at all. So I'm just messing around here trying to get it sorted, trying to work out what's wrong with it. Um, I guess that's not connected for a start, which is part of the reason I wanted to change this. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, not connected. Does that make any difference or not? Landing pads, and I don't, I don't mean what that, that means. You're okay. You're working. I see that's a plain one there. Looks like a plain seven by seven. Uh, contract needs one hundred eighty one, one hundred seventy three. So. whack that up I should be able to communicate with that one yeah that one needs a runway and I can't pick the land because the threshold right so that is definitely a plane okay what about this one this is just a little one Oh wow, okay. I thought they all came in that way, obviously not. Oh, milk and eggs. Hem droid repair kit, I like that. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. 
Ooh. How much is the milk? 40. Wow, how much is the eggs? 50. But if I get eggs, if I get a fertilised eggs, I can start making my own chickens. Oh, no, I'm going to leave it there for now. I've been rattling on long enough. We've made some changes. We've got this bigger pad working. Um, I'm now contacting bigger ones, but they're not coming to my threshold. Because that's on this one, which I believe I'm going to isolate. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go away and have a play with some things, see what I need to do to get the landing, uh, the runway working. Um, I, I'm going to have to build another bloody rocket at some point, it's so frustrating. Um, but for now, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Uh, hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to support me long term, I do have a Patreon page. I am running X4 Timelines as a um, Patreon only series at the moment. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Strike like Gamer, wishing you good night.